Okay, many of you are still not very sure about applications of quadratic functions. Okay, so I'm just going to go through two questions in this video to help you better understand how to solve this kind of questions. Now, very firstly, you have to read the question carefully yeah, and then take note of certain important things. So, normally, right, the story will tell you that uh, something that happened can be modelled by the quadratic equation. Okay. Now, what's very important is you need to read what the x and y in this quadratic equation represents. So, in this particular question, right, the x is the horizontal distance travelled by the cannonball, and y uh, in meters. Uh. Okay. So you need to take note that uh, all these are in meters. Meters. It can be. This one in time, okay. Uh, normally, time will be in seconds. Uh, you read, you read, uh, see what's the unit that's given to you. And then for this particular question, y is the height. Okay, meaning to say that if I were to draw whatever I read here, it will look something like that. Okay, normally be drawn for you, but let's say it's not drawn for you. Lah, huh? uh, you have this cannon right mounted on a platform okay where x meters is the horizontal distance so this is your x this is your y uh, normally for application question uh, we don't use the negative x because there's no negative distance uh, okay um, this part here will there be negative y it depends it depends let's say um, you start off from this origin here huh? and this origin uh, is with reference from some level ground here or like sea level or whatever right then there will be a negative value but if you start off from here okay and then you shoot then there should not be any negative value that means this is a ground level okay so let's read and see what or uh, which case it is okay so you see uh, how to determine uh, where is the starting point very easy all these are your x right so we don't know about much about y but x will start from zero so when i set x equals zero uh, this whole thing will be zero okay because zero times anything is zero this whole thing will be zero right so y is actually 1.2 that means when you first start uh, when you first start to fire the cannonball you're actually firing the cannonball from here okay what do i mean by from here that means it's 1.2 meters above the ground okay so that is how you actually determine how it looks like so what i'm trying to tell you is this uh, I'm trying to tell you the, the graph right is like that with the x-axis here and the x-axis is not here meaning to say that it is not like that uh, I also don't know how to draw this because it doesn't make sense huh? so it's not like that okay it is not like that. Huh? That means your origin right is below this cannon. The cannon is here. Alright. So that's what I want to emphasize to you. So this is the wrong diagram. If you use this, huh, you may think that you can have negative value to come to the ground, right? But no, that is not the case. The case uh, given by this question is this. Okay. So let me emphasize again. Huh? Uh, this y is the height above the ground okay it makes a whole lot of sense huh? so the initial condition what is initial condition initial condition is to set whatever value here okay it can be a length it can be the time huh? you set it to zero then you know that oh it's actually starting here and then later the ball will end here uh, okay now let's uh, continue to answer the question huh? now they say state the height of the platform so if you have read the question earlier this cannon uh, is mounted on a platform which means that this must be the platform 
no? Platform is something like a stage, like that, uh, not, not really a stage, like uh, something raised up. Uh. Okay, so this must be the platform, then you fire. Of course, when it lands, right, it has to land here, okay, on the ground level. Okay, now, to state, uh, state means actually very easy, well, not much calculation. So how do I state? Uh, at this particular point, huh? uh, x equals 0, right? So I'm trying to find out here this value 1.2 right so I set x equals 0 so in exam questions uh, it's always good to set this to 0 then you'll find out oh initially where it is alright okay so the answer is just like that very simple okay now I'm going to move on to the second part express this in the form now you definitely need to know how to complete the square so I'm just going to uh, do it here okay the answer is ready here okay so be very careful here as I mentioned right uh, you take out this okay and then this one uh, will be affected also so if I take out minus uh, uh, 0.02 I'll be just left with the x square okay then I take out minus right this should be minus something already so how do I find uh, what times this minus 0 0.2 will give me this I take this divided by 0 0.02 that means I take 0 0.35 divided by 0 0.02 oh, sorry I'm not in the right mode 0 0.35 divided by 0 0.02 uh, that will give me 17.5 huh? okay so double check you double check huh? this times this you should be this right this times this you press calculator it will give you this oh i left out the x okay so must be very careful uh, 17.5 x you see when we do such questions right we inevitably we will make mistakes so this step of checking double check before you go and proceed and complete the square uh, is very important you check this time this is this this times this you press calculator right it should give you this you see again i i didn't write the x huh okay why because our brain is very focused on getting this number right then we never uh write the x okay but you see when you check like me you check uh, you will remember that oh yeah you will realize uh, you will realize that oh yeah I, I didn't put the x okay now that you've gotten this right again this doggy don't do anything to it huh? what i'm going to do now is to complete this square so everything else remains the same i write i write all those things that are uh, not going to be affected first huh? then i'm now just going to focus on this so how do i do this part uh, i write the complete square first because i'm going to change this force this to become a complete square this will be x square. This one I follow it by divide by two, so it will be eight point seven five. Okay, uh, hiding inside here is x square. Uh, this times this times two that will give you this. Okay, hiding inside here, this complete square is also this square. Uh, so I got to minus of this square. So eight point seven five. I square it up. Uh. I get this whole thing minus 76.5625 huh? okay must I round off to 3SF no this is exactly you see exact value so I don't round off okay then after that I open up the brackets okay then uh, plus okay you just press calculator lah. I just press calculator right this value well uh, uh, minus 0 0.02 then go and times minus 76.5625 uh. okay then you will get this one okay you can you can actually leave it in uh, fraction uh. okay but never mind since i already written in um, the decimals i'll just leave it uh. okay then you this is this part here right Okay, there's a plus 1.2 here. Then when you add them together, you will get this. Okay, so this is your completed square. Now the next part, uh, 
they ask you to find the maximum height reach by the cannonball okay so if i were to analyze this right actually i i i know from right from here because this is negative x square coefficient of x square is negative i know it is a set phase and i know it's maximum okay and i actually know that the height is 27 or uh, 2 point something okay but uh i'm going to show you the working for this how do i show the working that this is the maximum height i am using The complete square, uh, please take note now. Uh, this part you must really know. Uh, greater or equal to zero, okay. Any complete square is always greater or equal to zero, okay. Then you slowly, slowly get this whole thing to come out. Then you know what your y, what your y is uh, equal to in terms of maximum value. Uh. okay. So I have minus zero point o two on both sides. When I multiply by a negative number, this sign will flip. Okay, this is very important. Huh? Then I add 2.713. That whole thing. Seven three one two five. Okay, and the sign remains the same, right? Okay, now this means that my Y, doesn't this represent this whole thing, the same thing, right? So this is actually equal to Y, should always be less than or equal to this, okay? Which means uh, that my maximum, this Y is a height, right? Maximum height is less, okay? Maximum height uh, must be equal to 2.73125 uh, because it's always less than or equal to this one, so it cannot go any further above. So, this is your answer, but you must remember to put the unit. Okay, so that's all for this. Now, I can ask you uh, if I don't ask you in this way, right? Okay, uh, if you look at part 3 uh, and part 4, right? Uh, uh, I phrased the question different way. Uh. Uh, a, a drone is hovering at a height of 3 meters above ground. Okay, uh, we are still doing this same question, alright? We are still doing this same question. Uh. But a drone is now hovering at a height of 3 meters above ground. Above ground means... If I were to give you a pictorial representation, it means that it is 3 meters above Okay, this ground and not above this cannon. All right, you must be very clear. Huh? So a picture tells a thousand words. You need a picture to help you, all right? Uh, explain whether it's possible for the cannonball to hit the drone. So if the cannonball is, uh, sorry, if the drone is above the maximum, okay, then of course you won't hit, lah, all right? But if it is, uh, below or whatever right then uh, it is possible huh it is possible to let's say it's here or here or whatever right then it is possible huh? if it's if it's here of course not possible if i just shoot like that right then not possible but if it's here or here then it is possible right huh? okay so uh, what we are trying to do right is to find out whether the maximum so-called height that is attained by this cannonball uh, is below or above this okay so what we'll do is i'm actually going to use the same thing that i did just now exactly the same you know uh, the working right is exactly the same so I'm saying that the maximum height, okay, now I change a little bit, uh, since maximum height, uh, 
Okay, I think I like here. Huh? Okay, so you understand this working, right? Okay, so now I'm going to say, uh, uh, since maximum height reached by the cannonball is now for such question you must just say less than or greater than or equal to or whatever is less than three meters okay it is not possible for the cannonball to hit the drone okay basically it's just like that so there are many ways to phrase the question huh? you see whether uh, this is the working for this particular question okay uh, and and for this particular question this is the working for this okay assuming that you don't have your part 3 assuming you don't have your this part 3 right then you have to show this working here okay now the last part huh? The cannonball hits the ground after some time. How far is the ball from the platform when it hits the ground? Okay, so you see, uh, if I were to ask you a question like that, right, you won't know what's going on. But if you were to have a picture to refer to, then you will know really, oh yeah, the cannonball hits the ground. This is where it hits, right? They're asking you, right? how far is the ball so you need to know uh, what is this that they are asking you is it the x or the y value so they are actually asking you the x okay which means that you need to solve the x solve for the x uh. solve for the x but now you need to know what is the y value the y value is at this particular point where it hits the ground what is the y value okay that's why you see it's very important that you know how to draw your x and y axis then you understand what's going on is isn't this zero okay so where it hits the ground uh, for this particular question is zero okay now if you had done it if you had done it this other way instead uh, then you will get the wrong answer you will think that oh you would think that it's minus 1.2 because you would take this as the zero, right? Huh? You would take this as the x axis, uh, then you, you would think that oh, this is where it hits the ground, then it's minus 1.2, right? Then you'd be wrong, uh. okay? So that's what I'm trying to say here. Okay, now, uh, what I do is sub x, uh, sorry, sub y equals zero, okay? Then you can solve for the uh. Solve this equation, ah. So your minus this one, this is y equals this, right? So this one equals zero, okay? Because your y equals zero, then for such questions, ah, immediately use the quadratic equation. No point, cannot factorize one, okay? So you take x equals to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac. Okay, the formula sheet is given. Uh, so you actually have this equation uh, in your formula sheet. Or uh, this formula in your formula sheet. Uh. Okay, so what you need to do, right? We want to see this working. Okay, so you must substitute in this 0 0.35 minus b, right? Plus minus b square minus 4a uh, c all over 2a okay then of course you don't bother to press this are uh, so complicated right you just use your mode uh, for my calculator is mode 522 uh, then I just key in Okay, I will get 20.435 or minus 2.9360. Okay, 
I write the 5SF value first, then I round off. Ah, okay. So now, the question is this, uh, what, what does all this mean uh, now? Uh, why is there a negative value? You see, you, when you calculate this, um, I mean, you solve this equation, uh, this equation, right, the calculator don't know that this is a real world uh, question. So the calculator give you this value also, which is minus 2.94. But this value, as I mentioned right from the start, we cannot take this value because uh, the cannon is firing this way. What? It won't be this way. It won't be landing here, okay? So you take this positive value. All right, huh? Okay, so what you say is you reject this. Uh, uh, you reject this. Uh, but you can also say since x greater uh, or equal to 0, okay? Because it can be 0, right? The x can be here where it first started, huh? Uh, you're just saying in general like x greater or equal to 0 uh, uh, your x is equals to this 20.4 so answer is 20.4 meters okay that's all all right uh. okay we'll just do uh, one more and that's the end of this uh, particular video okay Well, this, this question, right, is this, um, th th this boy, okay, this boy throw a stone into the air, alright, now what is happening, uh, is this, wait, uh, let me get my, okay, what's happening is this, huh? Throw a stone into the air while standing at the edge of a cliff. After some time, the stone falls into the water. Okay, so if I were to draw this out, uh, there is a cliff. Okay, it's a vertical cliff. Uh, huh? Then, uh, this boy throw a stone, right? And then after some time, it okay. It, it, this is a cliff. Where's the water? Uh, actually, we don't know. We don't know. But you see, as I mentioned to you just now, right? You study this equation that's given to you. Okay, this uh, h represents the height. Okay, so without a doubt, uh, without a doubt. This vertical axis, right, is your h. That means this y axis is your h. You don't label it y, okay, label it as h. And it is in meters. So you can write the meters here. So that later when you do your whatever solution, uh, you know that it's in meters, okay? Wait, uh, wait, uh. no need to write all this, uh. Okay, I'm explaining how we get answer. Huh? Okay, and then uh, uh, the T right is in seconds. Okay, so this T here is in seconds. That means your X axis is in seconds. Okay, now if you were to look at this equation that is given to you, as I mentioned just now, right? It is always very important to know the initial condition. Initial condition uh, means at the uh, so-called when t equals 0. Just now, in the other question, right? This one, uh, you set when x equals 0, right? Uh, when x equals 0, okay? This one, you set when t equals 0, then you know already, you see, uh, if I set t equals 0 here, t equals 0 here, what is h? 45, right? Oh, it means that it is your starting point, uh, your starting point here, right, is 45 meters above. So this must be your, uh, what do you call that, the y-intercept uh, or the h-intercept, right? 
is 45 here meaning to say that your time axis uh, t axis right is here and not here do you understand uh, if you draw here right then wrong already because if you draw here uh, then this will not this will not be 45 already right? okay so i hope you understand what i'm saying now after you've done this uh, then you know that oh okay okay, okay. that means uh, the 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 thing is thrown and then into the air and then it goes okay i draw a better one it's thrown into the air and then it, it drops into the uh, sea so this is the sea level okay uh, once you get this picture r r r sorted out, uh, you will know already the height above sea level at which the stone is thrown. Stone is thrown for this particular question, right? Is where? Is here. Okay? Makes sense, huh? I throw the stone here, it went up into the air. After some time, it came down to the same level that I was at. Okay, but it went down, 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 hit the sea level. Why uh, sea level is zero? Because the equation tells us so. Okay, so we are done with this one already. Uh. I think you understand, right? Now, when you answer question, uh, you just show the important things like this. Okay, then you straight away just write answer and must have the unit, please. Uh. Don't forget like that. Okay, now. Part 2. The time taken for the stone to reach its maximum height. And the maximum height it reaches. They want you to find this. Actually, very simple. Lah. They just want you to find. Okay, what is this maximum? Alright. Um, and at what time will that happen? Okay, so how do you find the maximum of this? You complete the square, right? Okay, now... Um, let me scroll down ah. Uh. Okay then uh, okay let, let me just do a little bit of change ah. Uh. I don't like this method. Okay, so I take out minus four point eight. This one I divide by minus four point eight, I'll get this. So you double check this times this, okay? This times this should give you this this times this should give you this okay then the the 45 no change to it lah okay then now uh, what i'm doing right okay uh, there's one missing step here uh, which i'm going to show you now okay there's one missing step here so you just insert all right uh minus 4.8 plus 45 right uh, I'm I'm not changing the plus 45 and the minus 4.8. Huh? I'm forcing this to be a complete square now. How do I do that? Um, I put a complete square first. To get t square, it's just a t here. Okay. Then I divide this by 2, right? Divide this by 2. Uh, minus 10 over 3. Uh. Don't use mental calculation. Okay, just should use calculator. Minus 10 over 3. You divide by 2, the calculator will tell you it's minus 5 over 3. Okay? Then, when you square this, uh, when you square this, when you square this, right, you will get this t square. When you take this times this times 2, you will get this. Then when you square this, you have 25 over 9. But there's no 25 over 9 here. So you need to minus off 25 over 9 here okay now the next step which is this fella is to open up the bracket this times this open up this square bracket uh, not the round one uh. <coughs> to get this oh. then this times this you just press calculator uh, minus 4.8 times minus 25 over 9 they will tell you it is uh Okay, uh, whatever lah. Huh? Then you go and add to your 45 and then you get this particular value, okay? So now that we have completed the square, are you able to find the maximum height and all that? Can, right? Okay, so... That's your answer lah. Uh, can?
okay, you don't have to write so uh, so much. Uh, you can just say maximum height equals to this is our maximum height, right? Seventeen over uh, no one seven five over three meters. When okay, when will this whole thing become zero? When t equals five over three, ah. Uh? Uh, which is one two third lah. Okay, so no need no need all this huh? Alright, okay, we are now at the last 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 part already. Uh, sorry, what's the question? The time taken for the stone to heat the water. Okay, so you see huh? uh, class, if I don't have a picture, uh, if I only read this whole long story, right, I won't know how to do, you know? Really, you, all of us uh, need a picture. Then we will see very clearly, oh, it hits the water where it was thrown from here, yeah, thrown from here up into the air, then it landed, then that's, that's where it hits the water. So at this particular point, at this particular point, huh, they actually want us to find the, uh, you must understand, uh, this, this means your X, right? This T, where's my finger? Uh, this T, huh? is like your x then this h right is like your y okay you must be very clear about all this huh okay so do they want us to find t or y they want us to find the time right so they want us to find this so you must know what this is then you can sub into this equation in order to find the answer You understand? Uh, so, at this point here, okay, I must have a T value. Do you agree? Uh, it means that, because I'm on the T axis, uh, my Y must be 0. No? Anywhere here on this line, my Y is 0. So, I sub Y equals 0. It's like finding the X intercept like that. Uh. So, I sub Y equals 0, I can find the answer. So, that's exactly what I need to do. You understand? Uh, okay. And... So I sub h equals 0, then that will give me this, and again I use my quadratic formula, must show this, uh, must show this, uh, you can not straight away press calculator and then get the answer, okay? This one no need to show, uh, don't bother to uh, simplify or whatever, you just show this, right? Then you will get two answers, uh, but of course you cannot have negative time, right? So you just say since the time is greater or equal to 0, so t is this uh, seconds. So the answer, uh, no need to write that. Uh, no need to write. No need to write that. Uh, don't waste time. Uh. you just say answer five point one five seconds. Three SF, okay? Three SF. All right. So I hope you understand uh, uh, better now. Now I have one more last thing to say. You notice that I use this equation to solve. I didn't use this. To solve using this, uh, to set this to zero and then you solve, right? It's more complicated, okay? So, don't do uh, funny, funny things like that. Uh. In uh, mathematics, right, you always look for the easier way, okay? Because they never say hands. Part 3, uh, they didn't say hands. If they say hands, uh, uh, oh, sorry, if they ask you to complete the square for this, right, then they say hands, uh, then you have to use this one. Okay, but they never say hands, so you can just use this one to solve. Okay, so that's it. Thank you.